Hey everyone, it's me Ollie from Retaliate and today I'm going to be showing you guys a really easy method to bring back turbo building. So as you guys know, after the latest update, they've actually got rid of turbo building. So they've made it really difficult now to turbo build, meaning you can't do 90s that well unless you do them really slow and it's just so difficult to build and everyone hates it. Epic Games are literally killing their game by doing this, but I'm going to be showing you guys in today's video on how to get it back. Now this is going to be using macros and I'm going to be showing you guys the best method to do it and I'm going to be showing you guys how it does actually work really well and this will work for all of the softwares. Unfortunately, if you're on console, you won't be able to do this, but I'm pretty sure on console it's not too bad when you try to build anyway so it's really annoying on pc because all the pc players are really fast at building and they can't actually do it now so i am going to be showing you guys how you can do a little workaround for this however there are positives and there are drawbacks and stuff like that so one of the drawbacks is that you can't actually edit that well unless you program your macros really well also it can be time consuming because it might take you a while to find the perfect results and you might need to experiment and get it to your liking anyway once you've done all of that you shouldn't really have any issues and it makes the game so much more enjoyable another thing is i don't think you will get in trouble for doing this because it's just macros it's not like you're installing a script into Fortnite or anything, so I can't see anyone getting banned for doing this. Anyway, just before we get into the video, a huge shout out to everyone that subscribed recently. If you are new here and this is the first video you've seen by me, we do upload Fortnite glitches almost every single day. So if you do like stuff like that, make sure you definitely do subscribe because we do cover some Fortnite glitches before anyone else. So make sure you definitely do subscribe if you are new. We are trying to get to 100k by the end of this year. And if you want to support me even more, I'd really appreciate you guys using my support to create a code. Anyway, we're gonna get straight into this tutorial. So as you guys can see, I'm on my desktop and I've got a razor mouse. Now this all depends on what mouse you have. So if you have a razor mouse, you're gonna have a software called Synapse. And if you don't have that installed, make sure you definitely do install it off the internet. But I'm pretty sure most people do have Synapse installed if you have a Razor mouse. Now, if you have something like a Logitech mouse, I'm pretty sure there's software that does the exact same thing. So there might be a Logitech software that you have to download. And you need to find one that allows you to add macros. Now, if you just have a normal mouse, I'm pretty sure that is software that you can get, like auto clickers and stuff like that, which does the exact same thing. Now, I'm not sure how safe auto clickers are because if it injects anything into the game, you're screwed and you could get banned. But if it's something safe and it's just like a macro, then you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. So all I'm gonna do now. Now is I'm going to open Synapse because I'm on Razer. If you do have another macro software, then you can follow the same steps and it will be more or less the exact same steps. You may have to adapt a little bit, but you should be able to pick up what I'm doing. So as you guys can see here, I've got Razer Synapse open and I've got my mouse here. So I've actually created a new profile called Fortnite. If you're on Synapse, then you just want to click onto this here and just create a new profile. And as you guys can see, my mouse here actually has a lot more buttons that I can customize. I'm pretty sure some softwares actually allow you to change the left click, but that would be really annoying because every single time you click it, it will click it like 20 times. So it's better if you program it to one of these programmable buttons and a lot of you guys probably do have these on your mouse so you can see i've got some here and some here i'm just going to use this one here so it's called mouse button 5 and i'm just going to click onto it and as you guys can see when i click onto it all i'm going to do is i'm going to press into macro and what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new macro so we're going to press into configure macros and you guys are going to see once i'm here we actually have a list of all the macros that have already been made and all we're going to do is we're going to create a new one it's really easy so we're just going to add it and again if you're on a different software it should be more or less the exact same thing you may have to do a few things differently but you should be able to pick up what i'm doing anyway as you guys can see here we have a button that says insert now i'm going to click onto this and i'm going to press into mouse button and um, we want to get a left click so at the bottom here we're going to change this to left click so it's this one here and once you've done this we can see we've actually got two here now this part here is mostly trial and error so i'd recommend having about three or four of these i'm just gonna add one more so let me add one and let me just delete one here so i'm going to do the exact same thing and i'm going to press into left click and as you guys can see here we actually have the times so all we're going to do now is we're going to change the timing so i'm going to do the delay by 0.02 seconds that works best for me so it might not work best for you but you just need to expect experiment and you want to do that for every single one so again i'm just going to do it here so as you guys can see here i've done it for all of them now and most of this is just personal preference so it depends on what you want to do but obviously what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it so instead of having to spam click it spams click for us so you can put in a loop now and you can make it so it repeats this over and over so you can have it so it literally repeats for like 10 15 seconds so for 10 or 15 seconds you don't have to do anything but that can get a bit annoying when you swap to your guns and stuff like that so it's obviously not ideal but i prefer doing that because i don't have to keep on pressing onto the button so if you do want to do that all you want to do is go into insert and it will be different on different softwares as i said before but i'm just gonna add a loop so you can see here i'm just gonna drag this here and i'm gonna make a loop about five times so once you've done this this is more or less done you can keep on editing this later on and try and make adjustments to it but i'm just gonna rename it to turbo build i've already got one called turbo build so i'm just gonna call it turbo build 2 and as you guys can see here i'm just gonna save it and now we're gonna go back to our mouse and we're actually gonna change this button again so we're gonna click onto it we're gonna press into macros and we're gonna change it to turbo build 2 now you can have the playback option to once or you can have it so it does it multiple times i always like doing it multiple times and literally if i type in like 10 or something or even 20 if it lets me for some reason it's not letting me i don't know why so as you guys can see here i have it so it's going to repeat the same sequence 20 times and obviously this is overkill but i prefer doing this because i don't even play fortnite that much and when i do build it's normally just in creative just because i'm bored so i'm just going to do this so i don't have to keep on clicking onto the button so as you guys can see here we actually have it saved now and i don't know why it says that i'm just going to test it by clicking here and i'm not actually sure if it's working so yeah as you guys can see here when i'm dragging it you can see it 
actually is working. So you can see it's clicking tons of times. So if you guys want to test to see how good your macro is, all you need to do is you're going to go on the internet and we want to find something called a speed test or something or a click test. And as you guys can see here, we're actually on a website. There's tons of ones that do this. I'm just going to do it on this one. And you can see here, when you click it normally, it's going to be dead slow. Now I'm actually going to use the auto clicker and you can see how fast it's going up. So it's actually going up insane. And you can see here, I literally got the cheetah award straight away. Now, obviously it's still going on and I didn't know how to cancel it. So I literally just have to wait for it to end, but you can see it's ended now. So mine literally goes on for about 10 seconds, which is kind of annoying. But again, you can program that. So it only lasts for five seconds and stuff like that. So again, it's just all trial and error, but you can see it goes really fast and it's going to be doing all of this when you're in game. So I will show you what it's like in game right now. So as you guys can see, I'm in game now and I'm going to be showing you guys what the normal 90 looks like. Now, just a little disclaimer, I am really bad at Fortnite and I'm really bad at building. I've never practiced, so I'm not good at all at doing 90s, but I will show you what it looks like when I try to do a normal 90 because you're going to see for first it is actually normal and then it gets bad over time because they've actually cut it out. So you're going to see it's normal for first and then it cuts out. So eventually it will cut out and obviously I'm not that fast anyway, but I know a lot of you guys are actually really good at building and you can build really fast and obviously you can't when they've changed the response time. So if we now click onto the button that enables our macro that we just programmed, you're going to see it's going to start auto building and you're going to see I will be able to build a lot faster. So you can see I'm building a lot faster and I'm obviously not the best, but you can see I'm building ridiculously fast compared to before. So again, you will have to re-enable a button every few seconds, but it's a lot easier. So you're going to see again, I'm trying to do 90 and I can go a lot faster than before. So it's literally like the exact same time. And I'm pretty sure the time used to be 0.05 and now they've changed it to 0.15. Now for this macro that I made, I made it to 0.02. So it's even better than before, which is actually really sick. But again, there are downsides. So you're going to see if you try editing whilst you've done this, you're going to see it literally just spazzes out and it's going to be really difficult to edit. So obviously it's still possible, but it is really weird. So you will have to experiment a bit and see which macros are the best for you. Also, you guys might be able to find profiles online for macros, which you can actually import into your software. So you can search the internet and try and find some macros that are really good. But if you do make your own, you will be able to program it and get it how you like it. So if you are going to do the macros, there are definitely drawbacks, such as stuff like editing and things like that. But also, when you swap to shooting, it may be a bit annoying because it might just automatically shoot straight away. So you're going to have to look at the positives and negatives of doing this. So you may have to just decide if you want turbo building or if you don't want turbo building. So if you guys do want to get turbo building back, again, you can do this and it does work pretty well. So you can see I can actually do 90s quite fast compared to usual. Anyway, I'll let you guys experiment for yourself. So there we go, guys. That was the tutorial. I hope you did find it useful. If you did, make sure you do give the video a like. And I'm sorry if it was a bit difficult to understand, but it is kind of difficult to explain. So if you did find it complicated, you will get used to it eventually. So just keep on experimenting and hopefully you will be able to get a good result from it. Again, if you are new here, make sure you definitely do subscribe because we are going to be uploading Fortnite glitches almost every single day throughout season 10. And if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you do give the video a like and I might do more types of videos like this in the future. So I might do tip videos and stuff like that. Also, if you guys aren't aware, I am uploading on my second channel a lot more and I probably will be uploading in a few days and I am uploading modded skins on there and stuff like that. So if you do like modding videos and skin showcases and stuff like that, make sure you definitely do check out that channel because I do upload skins on there that haven't even been shown on YouTube yet. So if you do enjoy stuff like that, there's no reason not to subscribe to that channel. The link of that will be in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.